Today on our trailer, we're going to be installing the Avtronics Truck and Trailer Identification 3 Light Bar, part number MC99RB. Now here's our light bar that we're going to be mounting. We'll be tying it in with the running light circuit, which is what this wire is here already coming out of the trailer. Now it looks like there was previously a light bar installed, but our holes are not going to line up, so we're going to need to re-drill a couple holes to secure our light bar to the back of the trailer here. We're going to go ahead and get it centered. And then we'll just take a marker here and just mark where we need to drill. Now we're just going to be using some self-tapping screws to secure the light bar to the rear of the trailer. So we'll go ahead and use the screws to pre-drill the holes here. Next we're going to need to go ahead and we'll trim down this wire a little bit as well as the wire on the back of the light bar. We're then going to add a butt connector to connect the two wires. Strip a little wire back. We're going to go ahead and trim off the excess here. Strip our wire back. Go ahead and crimp down our butt connector. Now we'll go ahead and add a little electrical tape here to our connection. We'll then go ahead and feed our wire back in through the hole here. We'll then make sure any excess wire is not crimped or pinched as we put the light bar up into position. And then we'll reinstall our two self-tapping screws that we used to pre-drill the holes. Now that we've got our screws tightened down, we can go ahead and test the lights. As you can see here, here's what the lights look like when they're turned on. Again, this is tied in with the running light circuit on the trailer. And that'll do it for our installation of the Obtronics Truck and Trailer Identification 3 Light Bar, part number MC99RB, on our enclosed trailer.